Hello Year 7, it's Mr Taylor here. I'm going to walk you through our binary lesson today of our computer systems topic. This lesson is going to be used as an introduction to binary, how it all works, how computers use it, how, and how it allows us to use computers in a much more efficient manner. But first off, here's our keyword wall. We've been covering these keywords throughout this t uh, the last term and so far in school. We've covered just, uh, things such as input, outputs, hardware and software. We're going to go on to binary and in future lessons we're going to cover ASCII. The key questions of this lesson will be what is binary? Why is binary important for a computer? And how do you convert binary to deanery? Now to start off with there's a little brain teaser here of can you solve the puzzle? There are 10 types of people in this world those who understand binary and those who don't. Now don't worry if you never done binary before if you have that's brilliant you've already got a bit of an understanding but if you've not this lesson is what we're going to get you up to, uh, caught up with and by the end of this lesson you'll be able to answer this puzzle quite easily so if you imagine as a, like a light switch it's got two states off and on binary works the same way zero is off one is on because computers Every computer and te uh, electronic device that you may have or may have seen all use binary all, and they all have millions and millions of switches that go on and off, on and off, on and off, super, super fast. But it allows us to process data, run programs, compute information with like, our systems and it allows the computer to actually work through it effectively. Because at the end of the day, computers can't actually count past one in essence. Because what they use is what's called base 2, which has two options, 0 or 1. They can't go past 1. So, imagine how we count. We count in deanery, base 10. So we go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. And then we go to 10. We count in chunks of 10. Whereas computers count in chunks of 2. And that's how they basically like manage their data and their information. Now, if you were in lesson, you would be able to have seen this video, but if not, I will post this video on Google Classrooms so you can actually use it properly. However, if you want to copy down the URL there, that's fine, but I want you to go away and watch this video now. It'll give you a bit more of a breakdown of binary and deanery. Now, thank you for watching the video and coming back so quickly. Now, on these, this slide in your workbook, I want you to answer the two questions of why do we use binary? And what is the pattern? So the first question, why do we use binary? Well, we've got some good answers at the top there. It allows the computer to make calculations because obviously the computer can't count past one basically. So it has to have some way of processing information or else we can't use them. So it allows us to cal like use the computers to make calculations, run programs, so on and so forth. And it allows the computer to communicate with the user, such as ourselves and each other, i.e other like software, other hardware, inputs, outputs, um, other computers, all sorts of technology. And then the second question, what is the pattern? Now if we look here, it goes 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64 and 128. Now, it, most of you will probably be able to pick this up, but the pattern of this is it doubles every time it jumps so every time it gets to one it then waits until every time it gets to two every time it gets to four so the way binary works is it is in basically in even numbers but doubled so if we look at this grid that we've got at the top of this table we can see how it goes 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, which we know which is what an 8-bit binary chunk is, um, which is bit, one of the most commonly used forms of bit, uh, binary. With this, we can actually figure out what number we want to make and how we can convert deanery, our, base, our chunks of 10, to binary. So if you look below, if we wanted to make the number 5 in 8-bit binary, it would literally be 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Now, that might look a bit confusing, but all you need to do is look at which switches are 
on. So which switches have a one and they um, add them together. If they've got a zero, they're technically switched off, so they don't, you don't need them. If they've got a one, th those lights of those numbers have switched on, we need to count those up. So we've got a one under the one and one under the four, that add them together, we get five. So it, like I say, if you imagine them as switches, zero's off, one is on, it allows you to figure out which one numbers you need and which ones you don't need. Now, moving on to the next task for you guys. In your workbooks, there's this slide, and what I want you to be doing is answer the questions using binary. Now, there's obviously the little grid at the top of the slide that can, uh, the workbook page that can help you. But remember, we read binary from right to left, so we start with the lowest number at the right and move our way left. So, if I was going to do this, my the answer to the first question for me would I uh, I got like size 12 shoes so I would go zero zero one one zero 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 because I only need the eight and the four to make 12 that's where the ones would be so I want you to work through each of these questions giving me what your answers are but converting it into binary so the best way to do it is if you look at which numbers you need. So obviously none of you were born on a month or have a shoe size that's 128, so you don't need 128. You don't have a 64, 32, 16. Some of you might need an eight, a four, or two or a one. So that's when you have to look at, does this number go into the number you need once? It's a, it takes a bit of maths, but once you get the hang of it, it's quite, it can be quite quick. And then the extension question, which will be on, the, on your workbook, is what is the maximum number you can make with a 8-bit binary and that is if you just add all the numbers at the top of this little table so the 1 2 4 8 16 32 64 and 128 if you add all them together what number would you get if you pause the video and try that and do that work now for me thank you for doing that so well year seven and coming back now the next task we need to now convert binary back into dean uh, Sorry, yeah, back, binary back into deanery. So, the first uh, sentence here, more than 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, because remember we read binary from right to left, of the people in the world have never made or received a telephone call. So what you need to do is starting from right to left is put those numbers in one number in each of these this uh, grid. So you put a 0 in the 1, but then you put a 1 under the 2, a zero under the four, a zero under the eight, a one under the 16, a one under the 32, and then zero, zero, because obviously we've not got those numbers, so they'll be off, basically. And then you add the ones, the numbers with ones underneath them together, and that's how they get the answer. So if you go through and basically convert the green binary numbers into deanery numbers, that's how you can convert binary back into deanery, and that's how you can get the answers to these questions. And then once you're done, if you want to try the extension task of creating your own facts, any interesting number based facts that you can convert from deanery to binary, that'd be spot on and vice versa. That'd be brilliant. If you try pause the video and do that task now for me. Right. So if you've done those, uh, that task of converting the binary into deanery, these are the answers. So more than 50% of the people in the world have never made or received a telephone call. Gorillas sleep as much as 14 hours per day. I feel like I need that much sleep sometimes. You can tell the gender of a horse by its teeth. Most most male have 40 and females have 36. On average, 12 newborns will be given to the wrong parents daily. A giraffe can clean its ears with its 21 inch tongue. And a man named Charles Osborne has had the hiccups for 69 years. That's unbelievable to me sometimes, but they are true facts. And then finally, we'll come back to this puzzle. There are 10 kinds of people in the world, those who understand binary and those who don't. Now, with your understanding of binary now, we can look at this and go, right, that's a zero under the one and a one under the two. So it's actually saying there are two types of people in the world, those who understand binary and those who don't. So that'll be it for now, uh, yes, Erin, that's the end of this lesson. Thank you very much for doing the work as fast as you can. I hope you're all doing well and I'll see you all soon.